there is something completely unique about where I am today. And for a while, a few of the salon previews we've had, we've obviously had Clive Sutton here with us. But there's someone remarkable that I'd like to introduce you to who will speak about not just Clive Sutton, but this masterpiece that I'm sitting in. And with me, I have. Thank you so much. So I'm Luke Sutton from Clive Sutton. Pleased to meet you, Luke. As you said, great to see you again at Salon Privé. We've been, I think this is our ninth edition here. Correct, yes. Yeah. And um, we bring here really our division of bespoke and, and sort of luxury one-off builds that uh, we are involved in. Uh, we are traditionally actually a luxury and uh, supercar performance dealer. So we generally are based, we're based in London, generally keep 60 to 70 cars in stock. Um, and then we have a whole portion of the business focused on very special vehicles like the one you are currently sitting in. Now, you know, that's what I want to talk about. Yes. <laughs> so um, on on one of the events of Salon Privé, you, you brought this, but I didn't have the chance to, to come into it. But looking at it from afar, I knew that when we're doing the unveiling, because that was one of the ones you had on the unveiling. Exactly. And there was something amazing, especially when you showed the Shelby. But the Shelby was not even what I wanted to talk about. This is a beast. Yeah. This is a Mercedes-Benz what? Uh, it's a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. A Sprinter that has been converted to luxury. Yeah. Yep. Can you tell me about this vehicle? And can you tell those who are looking today what this is all about. Listen, I, I ain't no gaming kind of guy like that per se, but right in front of me is a PlayStation 5 and Apple TV. Okay, I'm, I'll be quiet, I promise, I'll be quiet. Yeah. Now, Mr. Sutton, yeah. tell us about this vehicle. Uh, so the vehicle itself, um, we have a direct relationship with Mercedes-Benz and the vehicle comes to us as a panel van. Everything you can see and everything you are sitting on and can touch has all been installed and um, a lot of has been created by us. So the vehicles come to us and generally uh, we have a bit of a standardized format because we're building these in quite reasonable volume. So a customer would have choices of color, of finish, um, but some of the features I'm going to run for you um, are generally included as, as a sort of a core specification. Any bespoke request we can obviously cater to, um, but a lot of what I'll run you through, we're doing quite consistently um, on a lot of the vehicles that we do. Can I have my pillow, please? Yes, you can. You look like you're suffering. You're like you're my suffering. pillow. You have your cushion. <laughs> there we go. There you my go. pillow. <laughs> okay. So, so. With, so within this vehicle, the, the, the core thing to start with is obviously these beautiful seats that we're sitting on. So these seats, um, if you look at your display just here, and this isn't just for these middle two, um, all seven passengers have this. Uh, there is a um, screen that you can press like that and it comes up. And with on this itself, you've got heated, cooling, massage, um, and then you've got crucially, which is obviously super unique for a car, and I'm gonna give you the full display. Or would you like to be the test dummy? No, you're happy to be our model. Yes, sir. Okay, you're going to be our model. Okay. So you're going to see that actually we can get this seat pretty much oh. completely vertical. First class, folks, not business class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't do club here. Ooh. So we're going to leave you there because we can keep going, but that's about enough. Oh, and wow. Your footrest here. Mm. You can come all the way up. With my pillow. You cuddle that pillow. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so a lot's gone into the seats. Now in the UK, we have a, a standard called M1. These are all M1 graded seats. So they are crash tested for UK standards, as is the flooring, as even other big screens, which I'll eventually get you on. Mm -hmm. um, but the seats themselves are really a standout piece here. And what's very interesting is usually in vehicles where you have seven seat as an option, the rear passengers or the rear row mm -hmm. are usually these small sort of piddly jump seats and they're not really meant for a normal human being. Correct. Whereas, and I'm going to show you as a demonstration, the back row seats are really made so that everyone has got full comfort. So oh, I'm okay. going to put you into, you let me know what you deem to be your normal comfortable sitting position. Okay. Oh, wow. And we're getting there slowly. Mm. Yes, sir. So you would say for you, probably that's right how here. you'd like to sit. Correct. Okay. He, he knows. He yeah. knows. So now I'm six foot two, not a small guy, and I am coming to sit here. And as a, if you look at my leg room and my space back here, 
this is not just a sort of jump seat at the back. This wow. is a super comfortable place to be. And the main thing as well, where we put some thought into, um, there is a step. So there is a raised platform here. So this beautiful screen in front of you, if I was to be sitting behind you, I would not be looking into the back of your head. I would be looking over it Correct. so that I can straight to I that can see properly. Uh, and that sort of leads us quite nicely to the multimedia side of the vehicle. Now there are two 43 inch screens. We've got one in the front and we've got one in the back. Wow. Now, as a standard, we typically fit Apple TV and we fit a PlayStation, not just for gaming, but the PlayStation is much more versatile with some of the apps you can download to watch content. Correct. Apple TV block you from um, downloading Sky Go or Virgin Go, whereas on the PlayStation, you can get them. So typically between the PlayStation and between the Apple TV, you can stream pretty much anything you want. Exactly. So you install Wi-Fi in this vehicle? Yeah, we've got 5G router. A customer has to supply us a data-only SIM card. We plug it in and you've got 5G on the go and all the devices are automatically um, hooked up and connected. So if I was taking this van out to Europe, yeah. does my 5G or does my Wi-Fi work all the way through? Very much so. Very similar to if you were to take your phone across Europe, it's the same SIM card, the same source of data and can work Europe-wide, no problem. Uh, we do build these and distribute these all over the world, not just for the UK. And depending on the market, someone could send us any hardware they wanted us to install. Are you done hugging your pillow? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm done. <laughs> um, depending on where it's going, people can send us their local hardware for us to install. It's, it's very simple for us to do. So what are some of the crazy custom builds that you get on this? Uh, we've had all sorts of requests. I've had requests for beds. I've had requests for, really should we call them structural poles from the ceiling to the floor? <laughs> um, okay, I, I'm not, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to smile. Yes, um, but generally our focus is um, crash safety compliant. We as a builder have a responsibility for what we're putting in the vehicles. And, um, you know, a lot of the requests we actually say no to. Um, safety is very important. And you may have seen a concept like this online or you may have seen others being built. And, um, you know, a lot of things that can be done without that sort of focus on safety and compliance. And that's been a real, real theme through the development of this car. I have seen one of these in the in the um monarchy's cortege yes am i correct i couldn't say yes or no <laughs> how did you hear him you didn't say yes or no because i wanted you to talk about the interior yes the material yes and i think one of the things that i notice is that your clients are more business stately royals musicians people of a high-end caliber or those who also um work within the professional industry in transportation and logistics yes um, so yeah, you've basically covered it all. It's, it's a very unique vehicle because of the seating capacity and luggage space. So the amount of different usages and the amount of different clientele we're getting is very, very varied. Um, mostly are private individuals who already are being chauffeur driven. So they might have a Range Rover, they might have a, a, a long wheelbase BMW, they might have a Maybach, a Rolls Royce and one, they don't always want to arrive and have everyone looking at them in a big flashy vehicle. You know, from the exterior of this car, you're in a sprinter van and there are Ocado delivery trucks and there are all sorts of things in London <laughs> and the UK and people don't really give you a second look. And that discretion is key. A lot of people, especially with crime and safety, the way it is in this country at the moment, like that as an option. Uh, but so it's, uh, more, it's more like hiding in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight, but still having every, all the comforts. You're not, you're not giving up on anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, but yeah, obviously the music industry, football players, uh, you know, many different uh, industries look at this and see how they can have not just something to enjoy, but with the screens and the, the also what I'll show you, some of the other features and the tables, which you're about to see now. Um, you know, you can use this really as a mobile office or a, um, you know, a, a, a vehicle that you can use. And, um, you know, we've got quite a few property developers that are putting business plans and screens uh, to site while they're on the go. And here we go, here are electronic screw tables. This steel. Uh, aluminium. Aluminium. Yeah. 
and bit different. Yeah, but if you see like sturdy, you know, actually you can work on. Yeah. And I see that you've quite worked out the electrical component part for like USB C's, USB Type A to charge kits and stuff like that everything every passenger has been thought about um in the walls here you can see there's usb and USB C. yeah crucially if you look in your seat of your armrest on your left hand side left hand side and if you pull that back inside here is a usb charger if without pulling if you just put your slide your finger here that's already back here oh yeah, yeah. there's a charger so oh, you wow. see these okay. seats here yes oh yeah so okay every seat has their own charger we've got additional chargers in the walls um these chrome slots here are actually wireless charging that's the one we talked about that is the one we talked about so case out case open out. screen towards me screen towards you yeah voila and there we go charge mode so um, all the charging and everything is all really thought out. Um, all of the seats and the layout with how they're set up for maximum leg room, really thought out. Um, and, you know, even some of the nice touches where we will get some footage of this after, but this full screen in front of me is on a full mechanical actuator. So you can press down and, um, you know, the whole partition privacy is down. If you're someone who doesn't always want things on the screen, again, this now feels a bit more like a normal passenger vehicle. Um, it's obviously one way you can communicate with the driver. Um, there's also an intercom on this uh, um, that you can press and there's a full microphone um, communication with the driver's cabin and the rear cabin. Uh, the rear screen and the front screen, we can play different things. So if you have your children that are facing backwards, you can have the cartoons or the PlayStation on for them. If you're looking forward, you can watch the sport and the news. Everybody's thought about no one is an accessory and um, everyone can use this in the sort of way that they that they want. Awesome. Mr. Sutton. You sold? <laughs> Absolutely. How much does this cost? I know how much it costs, but yeah. I mean, you know, for the audience, yeah. if someone wants to buy this and they're looking at this exact kind of model, yeah. This is leather, this is aircraft um, seating yep. um, with the bells and the whistles as uh, everything as is. as they are. Yeah. What's the cost? So the, the, the van itself from Mercedes when spec to this level with the air suspension and all the other driving aids is about £75,000 plus VAT. Um, our conversion, including the supply of the base car, is £230,000 uh, plus VAT. Obviously, if it's going out of the country, um, depending on where it's going, the VAT can be um, taken off. Or if it's bought as a business purchase, which mostly it is, um, the va they're deemed commercial-based vehicle, so the VAT pretty much comes um, straight back. Back to you. Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take to make this? How many man hours? And what's the waiting list? Uh, so, good question. Um, we are... We, we work in production months. We could not start another build for another six months. Six months. We are fully subscribed for six months. Uh, we can, the base car takes around four months to order from Mercedes Benz. So depending on the colors you want outside and you know, if you wanted the longer version, um, it's about four months. four months. When the vehicle is in our workshop, um, an entire build takes us eight weeks. Weeks. Yeah, so you're looking from date of order to um, when we complete, depending on our production schedule, six months from start to finish. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I've enjoyed being here and having to go through this. And uh, this is an amazing vehicle. And um, at least after all these years of filming, and you know, it's been a pleasure to meet you. And Thank you so much. You. Pleasure. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Well, it's the final day today for us here at Salon Privé. And what a better way to end it with Clive Sutton. This is an amazing Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. And not only is it a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seater, there's a massive cargo space at the back. There's an extra chair in the front or extra seating in the front with the driver. So if you don't want to sit here, obviously you can sit in front. Well, that's not the idea. It's the executive part of it. It's amazing. The PlayStation's here, the Apple TV's here. Uh, there's a phone coverage system here and there's also your Wi-Fi. And the fact that when kids are on board with you, 
it just feels like you're still at home. Absolutely. So I want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you next year.